it's hard to describe. It's, uh, you know how snakes live? Well, we, we kind of did just about like the snakes. Jack Moss spent the duration of the Second World War in a Japanese prisoner of war camp in Burma. This is pretty bad. We lost about half of my group. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't live through it. And I learned uh, the hard way. I learned that this is, uh, just act like I like the Japanese, just act like it. And that got me where I wanted to go. On this afternoon, the Thomas E. Creek VA Medical Center is having lunch for former POWs. They do this twice a year. During their time in the prison camp, they were known as the uh, Texas Lost Battalion because uh, nobody knew where they were. They tell the stories of the hardship these vets endured while fighting for their country. The experience of being imprisoned in war is, is, is a, a very significant, stressful uh, event. It's, uh, it's associated with deprivation of food, of the basic freedoms, liberty. Uh, some prisoners of war were tortured, mistreated. I was in a hospital compound, so I wasn't out in the hoochies with the rest of them. And the ones out in the hoochies had to work and they had them doing things. But <clears throat> I was, I was uh, hit by small arms fire in my legs <clears throat> and a grenade caught me. So I was in pretty bad shape. I don't know why, we found out later the only reason they didn't kill us, they, they was going to use us for a, exchange for political uh, prisoners on Koji. Uh, the starvation was the, the main thing, I think. We, we sat around, we talked about food we had had in the past and food that we intended to have in the future. And uh, very, very little other conversation. Really Jack Moss's daughter says despite being a prisoner, Moss did what he could to sabotage the enemy. They used him as a mechanic because he was really good with the cars and trucks and everything. And he used to put dirt in their oil pan and, and he would loosen the U-joints just enough that they would lose it when they got halfway down the road and they couldn't connect him with the truck. So he used to do that. These men had to endure a time when the enemy sought to strip them of everything they were fighting for. But they survived. So they came and liberated you? Oh, they liberated us, yes. What was that like? What did you feel like? Oh, I felt good. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.